Today we're going to learn two really easy ways to import text from Microsoft Word into Adobe InDesign. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads like webinar workbooks and worksheets using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something that you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a new document. So we are going to assume this is an eight and a half by 11. However, if you are printing this for Kindle, or I guess I should say create space or anything else, then you should look at the dimensions for those before doing so. Now I'm just going to go ahead and assume this is an eight and a half, whoops, eight and a half by 11. I change this to inches. I'm going to leave it portrait. And as far as margins, I'm just going to leave them at half an inch. I'm not too worried about three hole punching this. I'm going to assume this will be used uh, as an ebook only. So I'll say create. And inside here, I can see my margins, the purple and the pink, and those won't show up on the final document. Uh, and I have my Word document over here. Um, let me see. So I have my Word document over here, and this is the Word document that I would like to import into InDesign. Now, if you are not sure, most likely what you probably did, and I'm embarrassed to admit I did this the first time, is I simply went over here and I control A and I control C. I highlighted everything and copied and pasted it in. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, if that's easy for you, just do that. But if you have a really long document and it has a lot of formatting in it, you probably want to keep it. So when you're inside this document, you're going to go to inside InDesign, the final document, you're going to go to file. And like me, you probably got confused because you saw import XML, which has nothing to do with import Word. You were looking, I was looking for import Word or um, export, like there was nothing in here where I could figure it out. So the problem is, InDesign wants you to place it. Remember we talked about images in, if you took InDesign 101, and that to bring an image in, you have to place it. Now you could copy and paste it like I had said in the early example, but that's going to make for a really bulky file. So InDesign works very much like Adobe Premiere in that it doesn't try to keep all of the elements inside the document, it simply references to them later. So you're going to go ahead and do file place, and you're going to find that Word document document. And over here, you could say show import options. And we're not going to talk a lot about formatting. So I'm going to leave that out. And I'm going to say open. Now, just like, though, don't worry about this. This has fonts that obviously I should have, but I don't have. But you're going to have a loaded cursor once you say OK. And it's the same thing as when you bring in an image, you have a loaded cursor. Now, the first method that you could try to do is simply draw a box where you want that text to go. But again, you're kind of guessing, you're not really sure, and in fact, we guessed wrong, and all of this text did not fit into this page, and I can see this little plus sign uh, over here. Let me change this, get rid of the pink. And that means I have text overflow. And the text has nowhere to overflow into because I haven't created a second page. So I'd have to create a second page, I'd have to go back up to my first page, and I'd have to click that little plus sign, and then go to my second page. And then over here on the second page, I'm going to have to create another text box. And again, I'm guessing and I'm hoping it fits. Now it did fit, so that was fine. Um, but let's say I had a 100 or 500 page document doing this on every single page is going to get a bit tedious. So, and again, I may not know if the pages are going to fill up. I can't even guess how many pages to create. So let's control Z out of here and let's try this again. So we're going to go to file place and we're going to select that same word document, but this time instead of with the loaded cursor, instead of just placing it, we are going to hit hold the shift key and we're going to double click and it is going to guess for us, or it's going to just not guess, it's going to just do it for us. It's going to take all that text and it created a second page for me. So if I had 500 pages, it would go on to create 500 pages for me. Now, how do I know all this text is linked? Over here, if I click on the text box on page one, I can see that there is a little 
right arrow, it looks like a play button, but that's telling me that this text is linked to the text over here and it goes on, um, oops, let me double click that, over here because I see the little play button over here at the top left. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, I know sometimes it can just be frustrating when you're looking for the file import word and you don't see it. Um, but let me know if you have any questions or if there is another way that you import text into InDesign. All right, I will see you guys next week.